This is Derek the Average Dad coming to you live with this week's update. A lot's been going on in, around here and I decided to push a couple of things to next week's video in order to share the date that my wife and I went on this morning. Woohoo! Anyways, we went on a small hike, we went to Krispy Kremes, and then we ended up buying some baby clothes. Finally, all this and more coming your way. So my wife's been begging us to get out of the house and go do something. And she's right, because we're running out of time. There are only about three months left, less than that, before the baby comes. So we gotta spend as much time together as possible when we have the opportunity. So this morning, we got our butts out of bed at 6.30 in the morning and left the house at seven. We headed to Snoqualmie Falls, hoping to get some good pictures of the waterfall. We didn't see any animals but this sign claims that Bigfoot has been spotted at the falls. Do not feed the animals. This was a modern trail with gravel, cement, and only about half a mile. So I don't know if you can count that as hiking, but for a six month pregnant wife, it was enough. These were the kind of animals the sign was warning us about. Good thing we didn't feed them. We did get to see some beautiful naturally grown power lines. What a view that was. We found this cool hollow log laying off to the side of the trail. Looked like it had been there for a while. So we took a small break sitting on it. It was nice to get out with the wife going on a nature walk. The best part of the experience was that we only found about five other people on the trail. So we had the trail to ourselves and it was nice and quiet. All that was left was the steep hill to climb to get to the waterfall. With all that extra baby weight, my wife was able to make it to the top, which was impressive. And there you have it. We made it to the waterfall. That was rewarding to see. It was really cool seeing all that water drop, but man, it made me want to pee. After burning all those calories from hiking, if there isn't anything better to eat to gain it all back than donuts from Krispy Kremes. We haven't had a Krispy Kreme donut in years. We had a lot of fun. After our stop at Krispy Kremes, we ended up picking up some baby clothes finally because my wife couldn't pass up a couple of these cute dresses that I know that the baby will outgrow in three months. On Wednesday, I end up sharing my new cooking series called Dad in the Kitchen, where I make simple, easy meals that end up tasting pretty good. And this week I started with something really easy called the Pizza Dia. Here's a small clip of it. With some pepperoni on top. Finally, place another tortilla on top and let it sit there for about a minute. By the way, make sure you have a spatula before starting or you can end up burning the first side. This is what happens if you don't have one. That's all the time that we had for this week. So leave a comment below giving us more recommendations on date ideas that we should go on before the newborn comes. Don't forget to share this video on Facebook and all other social media platforms and subscribe to the channel. Continue following me as I become a father. This is Derek the Average Dad reporting out.